How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got a special one. So guys, here at the Albo headquarters, our job is to make your lives easier. So, we're gonna be showing you guys some very, very simple life hacks to basically make your life super lit. I'm with the boy Bong Gizzles. I'm with the boy, it's your boy. So let's get started. Okay, so let's say you're on a date, you know, you're with your man, you're with your woman, it doesn't matter. And you wanna brighten up the mood. Yeah, I'm trying to brighten up the mood. There you <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. So let's say you want to light a candle, but you don't want to burn yourself because obviously the fire is too close. You will take a spaghetti stick. Yo, I think I'm gonna grab a spaghetti stick. <laughs> And guys, instead of lighting the candle and burning your finger, you can basically just light up the spaghetti stick. Okay, it goes up nice and easy without burning yourself. And wham, bam, guys, you brighten up the mood right there. And you can go back to Netflix and chilling with a brighter environment. You're so smart, baby. I got us. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you're playing a game of ping pong or you're playing my favorite game whip the ball against the back <laughs> Let's say the ball is bent. Okay, this is your last ball You're playing ping pong you're playing beer pong whatever it is and you need this puppy right here This one is a super handy life hack because you can save your ping pong ball very easily All you need is a lighter you're gonna hold it underneath it, but not too close because you don't want to burn the ball Okay, the gases in the ball should start to expand as it starts to heat up so hold it underneath, be patient, and wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. A perfect ping pong ball once again to whip at your boy. Ah. <laughs> next life hack. Okay, guys, next up, let's pretend it's a Saturday night, all right? You're getting lit with your boys. You're turning up, bad and bougie's going, and you want to eat some chips. But over at my house, guys, we hate doing dishes. So here's what you do, okay? Instead of everybody putting their hands in and it just gets all greasy against the sides, you're gonna do the roll up trick. So, simple life hack guys. You're basically gonna roll up the bag underneath. And as you can see, the chips are turning up just like we are. Bam, a perfect bowl. Who needs dishes, all right? We don't buy dish soap in the Alvo house. So, you can present it to your boys. Woo! Bam, balanced out, great value. We don't do lays. Save you money, a dollar a bag, no bowl, no dishes, and the boys can still get turnt. Now, let's say your boys are talking smack to you. The up, John. And your cheese, you wanna take the chips away? No! Why, why, why? We only have two. Sorry, boys. You're but, right. guys, let's say you're rolling it up, okay? Sometimes it's just gonna reopen. A, the chips are gonna get bad way quicker, and B, things can crawl in. So, you're gonna take a coat hanger, twist it up, Wham, bam, you are good, all right? You saved your money even more. You used a household item, and these chips are gonna last way longer that way. Let's say you are a baker's man, just like my boy Bongo. He's the baker's man cooking it up in the Alba house. So, you're about to bake your goods, you're in the kitchen, all right? You're getting stuff ready, and you need the sugar because you're the baker's man. I'm the baker's man, skirt! Let's say Bongo has used his sugar, okay? And it's really hard to reseal these things. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take an old bottle. You're gonna cut it open. Okay, rinse it out, of course, with some nice hot water. Make sure it's nice and clean. After you've cleaned your bottle, you're gonna basically do the maneuver to make this last longer. So. You're gonna curve open your bag, okay? Stick it through the bottle, and then you're gonna leave it open like this, okay? Just that way it can close way easier. You're gonna take your cap, and you're gonna lay it over top, and wham, bam. This thing is closed, it's basically like brand new, you can reuse it all the time. When you're the baker's man, just like my boy Bongo, you can use obviously your ingredients for way longer, and you're saving your money. So you saw my friends turning up earlier, let's say you're still at a party, all right, and the drinks just arrived, but, Obviously, you got them just from the store and they're still warm. Here's a way to make your drink way colder, way faster. Let's say you have your glass here, you have your water. It works with cans of pop, it works with pretty much anything. You are gonna take some paper towel. You're gonna put some super cold water on the paper towel. Make sure it's nice and even. All right, guys, now that it's nice and even, okay, we distributed the water. You're gonna wrap it around your drink and all the water along the paper towel will make this freeze way quicker in the freezer. So you pop it in. And then in about 10 minutes, that thing should be way, way colder. Whether it's, you know, your glass of water, whether it's a can of pop, whether it's beer, it works with anything. So, wait 10 minutes and that thing will be super cold when it's out. A few moments later. All right, guys, it's been 10 minutes. Holy. Sean, check this out. Okay, this thing should claw off pretty easily. Oh. And bruh. Oh my God. Way colder and taste test. 
Yo, stop being such a hog. Give me some of that. Ah! That is the best goddamn H2O I've ever had in my life, son. That would take like an hour and a half to get that cold normally. I easily. Okay, guys, so the party's still lit, right? You know, they have their chips, they have their soda, but they need to eat some real food now. They're hungry. So, here's what we're gonna do, guys, to make the best peanut butter sandwiches. This works with turkey sandwiches. Any sandwich, you wanna toast it on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside, right? This is what you do. We are gonna take our two pieces of toast, right? And usually when you put it in the toaster, you put it in one each, right? Here's a little life hack to make the perfect sandwich. So you're gonna take both of your pieces of bread and you're gonna stick them in the toaster, okay? And get ready to toast those puppies. I actually do this life hack all the time because trust me, your peanut butter game is about to go off. Then you just check up on your sandwich, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Look at this, perfectly toasted on the outside and still nice and soft on the inside. Sandwich game is about to go off, baby! Don't you have to put peanut butter on that? Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. All right, so this was for all my athletes out there. Let's say, you know, you're with your boy. He just broke his ankle. He's in Bruck gang. Instead of icing their ankle like this, it's obviously like uneven, you know? All the ice, it's super rock hard as well. Here is the best way to ice your ankle. You want something that looks more like this, okay? This is the best way to ice your ankle. It looks exactly like slush. Here, open it up, Bumble. If you even put your hand in there, it looks like slush right there, okay? That is the best way to do it, and here's how you make it. You fill up your Ziploc bag about that way, okay? It's about a quarter of the way, and then you take rubbing alcohol. It makes in about half the amount of water as rubbing alcohol, so about that should do the trick. Then guys, you wanna close up your Ziploc bag and just give it a nice shake. That way the alcohol and the water will mix up together. You pop it into your freezer. So now that it's in the freezer, we're gonna wait a bit. We're gonna check on it in about an hour or two. We're gonna see how it is. Two hours later. Let's check it out. Ooh, there's already slush forming. So for all my athletes trying to escape Brock gang, this is how you do it. So I hope we made all your lives easier. I hope you guys are gonna know what to do in those clutch situations to basically hack your own life. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, make sure to go down below and smash that thumbs up button, baby. Let's get to 20K likes and I will show you guys a crap ton more life hacks. As well, I gotta give a big thank you to the boys. Make sure you go subscribe to them, youtube.com slash it's your boy and youtube.com slash bongo biche. That's it from me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have the best day of your lives and we'll see you in the next video. Peace!